Hi, this is Jeff Roars, Chief Marketing Officer at Jobvite. Thank you for joining us today for our session about 2021 TA planning. I just wanted to give you a little bit of an expectation of what the next 30 minutes are. So our Evolve Talent Acquisition Framework is one we use with all of our customers to help them with their talent acquisition maturity, to constantly be evolving, constantly be improving what they do. So in these 30 minutes, you're gonna get about 10 minutes from Kelly and Amy, who you'll meet in a second, explaining what the framework is, how we came up with it. Then Amy's gonna take you through 10 minutes of a fictitious 10 minute assessment of a company called Black Bear to just kind of explain how the assessment works. And then at the very end, Maggie is going to join and she is one of our great customer success folks and she's gonna take you through what that assessment of Black Bear actually means. Now, if you're a two screen person and you wanna start up your own 10 minute assessment while this is going on, fire up jobvite.com forward slash try hyphen evolve and you can complete your own assessment while you watch this great session and again 2021 is just around the corner hence we'd like to wish you a happy new year early thank you hi my name is kelly lavin and i'm the svp of talent at jobvite one thing i'm sure you can agree with me on is that we're all experiencing a lot of change right now in addition to the personal change we're all experiencing, our businesses and technologies are also seeing rapid change. What does this mean for our talent acquisition teams and for us as individual talent acquisition professionals? It means that we're gonna to have to evolve. We're gonna to have to evolve the way that we reach out to our candidates, the way that we connect with them. We're gonna to have to evolve the way our teams are structured. We're gonna to have to evolve our skill sets as individual talent acquisition professionals and perhaps become more specialized. The talent acquisition teams of the future are going to be really good marketers. They're gonna be able to understand who their target audiences are and how to craft messages that resonate with those target audiences. Even more than that, they're going to help their organizations become better at attracting and retaining diverse sets of candidates. They're going to understand how to evolve their messaging so that it's not excluding certain groups of people and that it resonates with a really diverse set of candidates. They're also going to have to be, become better at using data, analytics, and technology to better partner with their organization and manage the candidate journey in a more advanced way. Really great talent acquisition teams of the future are going to be able to understand each and, in, and every individual step of the candidate journey in order to refine it. They're going to understand where candidates are dropping out of the process so that they're not losing some of their best candidates to a competitor that has a more refined process. Does this sound like a lot? Yes, it is. So we are going to have to, as talent acquisition professionals, get ahead of the game and partner with really great technology companies, really great partners, in order to better refine and understand how we need to get better as talent acquisition teams to serve our businesses individually. As talent acquisition teams mature, it's important to know that each one of them is gonna hit a few road bumps. Change is really hard. It's hard for talent acquisition professionals. It's hard for teams. And that's why it's so important to know why you're making the change and the outcomes that those changes are going to drive. That's why I love the Evolve framework so much. It really helps you understand what you need to do next and provides you with the tools that you'll need in order to do it. Jobvite developed the Evolve talent acquisition framework because Organizations today are overwhelmed trying to solve really complex challenges in a world where the use of technology continues to expand as well as having new emerging technologies all the time. And so we see customers who are striving for talent acquisition optimization, meaning that they're looking for better visibility into key metrics and understanding what works and what doesn't increased efficiencies using automation, um, and better, more predictable outcomes. So it's this aspiration for optimization that led us to develop the Evolve Talent Acquisition Framework. It really looks at recruitment as a continuous process in our relationship with candidates to be able to deliver a better candidate experience and create efficiencies that make it easier for your recruiters and sourcers to engage with talent. 
And ultimately, it's about impacting the outcome to recruitment marketing, application management, and to the very foundation of talent operations. Jobvite understands the challenges recruiting organizations face. And we know that modern recruiting is complex. It's, it's integrated, uh, it's automated, it's results-based, and it's highly competitive. So using Evolve, teams, processes, technologies, and strategies um, become more aligned and they become optimized over time. And organizations as a result emerge stronger, more efficient, and better able to adapt to the needs of the ever-evolving talent marketplace. Evolve defines talent acquisition using three pillars, recruitment marketing, applicant management, and talent operations. Within each pillar, there are defined processes that allow organizations to make change tangible. There's a total of 17 different process areas within these three pillars, all of which are very important and critical to talent acquisition. So these processes include candidate relationship management, outbound marketing, inbound marketing, interviewing, onboarding, just to name a few. There are a couple key concepts related to Evolve. One of the core concepts is around technology and moving from having multiple fragmented systems to a fully integrated ecosystem. And when I say an ecosystem, I'm talking about a platform that brings together the tools for recruitment marketing, applicant tracking, and new hire onboarding. Uh, it's a comprehensive platform that's gonna allow organizations to market to, engage, and hire the most important talent for their organization, and most importantly, have the data to back it up. Talent acquisition is all about connecting with people. And the Evolve framework is centered around empowering organizations to identify, prioritize, and nurture these key audiences that are most important to driving business results. So whether it's based on skills, geography, or geared towards initiatives like military or uh, diversity and inclusion, Evolve centers around audience-based programs because it helps talent acquisition teams align strategies to these core audiences. I think there's three ways in which the Evolve framework helps talent acquisition teams improve. Um, first is it helps companies assess where they are today in terms of talent acquisition maturity. So regardless of, your, of the industry or, or market segment, and this framework provides a roadmap to becoming more mature in your recruiting operations. Second, it helps companies align on where they would like to go and what's gonna help them meet their organizational requirements to achieve their goals. Um, and while this can be somewhat aspirational, it helps companies identify and prioritize areas of improvement, which includes the use of technology and automation. And third, um, it allows companies to act because it provides both tactical and strategic items um, to help companies act upon their goals so that they can start to execute against the processes and capabilities that are gonna help them mature. A talent acquisition organization's level of maturity is determined by their ability to drive consistent results by leveraging people, process, and technology through the pillars of talent acquisition. So whether we're looking at process area um, and by pillar or across all of talent acquisition, companies can assess where they are in a four level maturity model. So at level one, it's very ad hoc, meaning um, organizations are highly reactive in their recruiting efforts. There's minimal use of technology or integrations and processes are in large part very manual. So think back to the days when we're using Excel spreadsheets to track candidates through our process and who we hire. At level two, um, we're starting to see some development, but still disconnected, meaning that companies have instituted some proactive and automated processes 
and have likely expanded their use of technology, but there's no integration. At level three is where we start to see the more integrated and efficient efficiency. Um, highly automated processes, integrated technology, um, optimization of people process to proactively attract and engage talent. And level four is really um, very aspirational, but also achievable in using cutting edge strategies, increased channels, yet um, very targeted and increased personalization of recruitment marketing. I think for most organizations, the real opportunity is to break through um, a level two maturity, which is where a lot of companies sit today. Um, you know, see so many organizations at level two, you, you're making investment um, in, in people, process, technology, but the outcomes are hard to recognize. So really the goal is to get to a point where there's more speci specialization and less generalist behavior. And what we see is that as talent acquisitions mature, the org structure starts to shift and it evolves to having dedicated specialists which support recruitment marketing and talent acquisition operations. What does the assessment look like? Well, let's take a few minutes and just walk through the assessment together. Um, I'm gonna act as a talent acquisition leader for a company called Black Bear and just go through a few of the questions that are included in the assessment and would invite you to follow along with me at jobfight.com forward slash try hyphen evolve. The first question has to do with application management and asks how are you segmenting and targeting key talent audiences to attract and engage new candidates? Well, at Black Bear, um, admittedly, we're not that sophisticated. So when I'm looking at the options here, it spans from no targeted approach all the way through to having a fully automated, um, we fully automated uh, and segmented many of our marketing activities to support a highly personalized and compelling experience based on audience. Um, understanding that we're not that sophisticated and looking at the different options, I'm gonna choose number two, where we have begun to segment marketing efforts by separate broader audiences. I think that's a fair assessment of where we're at today um, of these options that I have. The next question is what conversion options do we offer visitors on our site? So conversion options includes the apply process, joining a talent network, being able to engage with AI and chatbots. Um, and it spans from being able to offer only an apply process or allow a candidate to upload a resume uh, by email. Um, in the middle, uh, we have offer candidates different conversion options where they can complete a full application or join a talent network or um, engage with a chatbot. Uh, and then the other option is where we have a fully integrated ecosystem, multiple options to apply, join a talent, can a talent network, and the whole process takes less than three minutes. So at Black Bear, we have a basic apply process and we give candidates the ability to join a talent network. Um, but it's not as streamlined as we would want, and it can probably take about five minutes or more. So I'm going to choose option number two. Next, we start to talk about recruitment marketing and how we create new re requisitions. Uh, so the first option has to do with manually creating requisitions. The second option is uh, creating and leveraging pre-populated fields with static lists and basic field population. Um, and then it goes all the way through to, you know, being able to leverage intelligent and automated position management. Um, but realistically, you know, we're at the point where we are able to leverage pre-populated fields um, and we have predefined approvers may also be pre-populated. So I'm going to choose that second option here as well. What systems and tools do you do you use to manage the offer process? Um, at a very basic level, it's talking about uh, manual processes, um, email and Word documents uh, to create, approve, and send offer letters. 
Uh, some of the other options obviously increase in sophistication and capability, um, supporting multiple offer forms, templates, optional paragraphs, etc., all the way through to fully integrated technology solutions that enable advanced and intelligent data segmentation and compensation analysis. So in all honesty, we're, we're not that sophisticated. Uh, we are still doing things uh, manually. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and choose number one. This next question has to do with how integrated our talent acquisition technology ecosystem is. Um, and we do not have an integrated technology solutions. So this one is a little bit of a no brainer for us. Um, but if you're a little bit more so sophisticated and mature, um, you might have a fully built API integration between your ATS and the CRM. Or you could be at a point where you have multiple systems, including your ATS, CRM, and HCM, um, all in one ecosystem um, and integrations enabling a hol holistic, seamless talent data management. Uh, so I'm going to choose number one there. And let's go on to our final question. How would you describe the candidate experience at your company? Um, so the first option is really, you know, there's a lot of room for improvement all the way through to automating the candidate experience surveys, actively monitoring the results and taking action to continually improve. So today we're not using any kind of surveys. Uh, we don't really have a mechanism for collecting feedback from our candidates. I will say that the candidate experience can vary by the organization, department or hiring team. So that's the option that's most applicable to us at Black Bear. So now that I've completed this assessment, I can save my um, results and I will be able to get an output of what maturity level I'm at across all of these different uh, pillars and process areas. Hello, my name is Maggie Pulowski, and I'm Black Bear's Customer Success Manager. Let's take a look and see how they did on the Evolve survey, and then I'm going to provide some recommendations. Let's take a look at the first question. So the first question was around segmenting and targeting key talent audiences so that companies can engage with talent, and Black Bear scored a 1. And so there's a lot of room for improvement. Um, the aggregate data shows that 50% of our customers actually also scored this way on the survey. And while Black Bear is doing a little bit of segmentation, they could be doing a lot more. They could be moving in a more strategic direction when it comes to audiences. So while they're not completely generic, I would challenge them to be even more focused so they can really nurture their pipeline. Some of the ways that they could do this is to really develop more compelling content geared specifically towards certain audiences so that they could launch campaigns as well as microsites. Over time, they can even take this to the next level by developing chatbots. So lots of room for improvement here um, when it comes to developing audiences. Let's take a look at the next question. The next question was, what conversion options do you offer visitors on your site? Black Bear scored a, a one, which was actually also a really common score. Over 50% of our customers actually had the same score. So it's something that's on everyone's mind. Um, Black Bear is doing some of the right things. So for example, they have um, the ability to join a talent network. They have a job application process that's a little bit over five minutes. So they're doing some of the right things. However, I would really challenge them to shorten their application process to be under five minutes. Sometimes it's just a matter of going to your career site and test applying for a job to actually see how long it takes the candidate to fill it out and maybe see how you can trim that application down. So those are a couple of things that Black Bear could consider. Um, and that would also really help reduce drop off. So sometimes candidates will start um, applying for a position and then they'll drop off midway through the process because it's simply taking too long and they lose interest. I would also recommend monitoring your career site analytics so you can see where you're at now. You can make adjustments and then monitor moving forward so you can really see a before and after picture. Um, I'd also recommend text and chatbot in the long term but to start off simple I would uh, a quick win would be to analyze your application process to really get it to be under five minutes. 
Okay, let's move on to the next question, which was how do you create a requisition? So this is um, seems like ATS 101. Um, so Black Bear scored a two. And from looking at the data, I can see that 53% of our customers also scored this way. So this is a very um, common challenge. So Blackbeard does have some automation in place. So that's great. They have automated requisition approvals. They have fields that pre-populate based off of field mapping. So they're doing a lot of the right things. Um, but as their CSM, I want to see them get um, to the next level over time. So I would recommend that they check out getting an HCM integration so that their recs would come from your their HCM into Jobvite, for example, and everything would be pre-populated. It would really jumpstart automated approval chains. So this would really help with operational efficiency and reduce any, any manual input um, on the part of the recruiter. Next up is offers. So this question has to do with the systems and tools in place to manage the offer process. Now, unfortunately, Black Bear scored pretty low on this. They only got a one. However, um, something that's comforting to know is that 45% of the customers that have filled out the survey had a very similar score. So this is a common challenge because the offer process has many different moving parts. So it's a lot to keep track of. So my recommendation for Black Bear will, would be to explore the offer functionality within Jobvite to really get educated on what um, the functionality offers. And then I would recommend implementing um, offer forms, approval chains, and offer letter templates to really save your recruiters and hiring managers a lot of time. Now, I'd, I would also give Black Bear a stretch goal to eventually implement an e-signature integration for their offer letters. So lots of room to grow when it comes to offers to really save time and have everything in a centralized location. The next question has to do with the TA technology ecosystem and integrations. So I can tell you that I know just from working with Black Bear and how they responded to the survey that they scored a one. They don't have any integrations currently, so there's a lot of room for them to add this on over time. Um, so they're not alone. Like many of the other questions, 47% of the respondents also have the same challenge. So my recommendation to Black Bear will be to start evaluating other integrations to see what's out there, whether it is a background check integration, CRM integration, or HRIS. Really, the sky is the limit. And I would really encourage them to think through this so that they can encourage a seamless experience and really reduce the manual and disconnected process um, of systems that are not integrated. Um, and so don't try to integrate everything all at once. That's another piece of advice I would give to Black Bear. Don't feel like you have to integrate everything at once, but incrementally try to improve over time. The final question has to do with the candidate experience at Black Bear. So Black Bear did respond a one. And if I look at the aggregate data, 49% of companies that took the survey had the same result. So specifically for Black Bear, they responded that their candidate experience probably varies greatly by department or team. So my recommendation to Black Bear is to explore a candidate survey integration in which you actually reach out to the candidate to find out how they liked the process to really get their feedback so that you can make improvements. Um, so I do recommend also getting some metrics in place for a before and after snapshot so you can monitor and measure results over time and then take action to possibly improve your recruiting process. Now that I've reviewed Black Bear's survey results, I do have these three final recommendations for them. Number one, I would recommend that they review the analytics platform. It's so important to take a look at your data so you can monitor what's going on and then also determine what action has to, to take place. And then you can track your progress over time. Number two, I recommend integrations. This is something that's come up several times today, but anywhere that you have the opportunity to automate a process to make it a more seamless experience, you should take it. So scope out integrations. 
And number three, set realistic goals. You don't want to bite off more than you can chew. So I always recommend setting goal realistic goals every quarter and making incremental progress. You're not going to evolve overnight. And so for Black in Black Bear's case, I would recommend setting a couple of goals every quarter. And then before you know it, you will evolve to the next level. So I wanna thank you for joining us today um, at the session. I hope that you enjoy HR Tech. Um, and remember, as it comes to evolve, the keys are to really assess, align, and act so that you have a strategy in how you're going to evolve and optimize your talent acquisition operations. And really would encourage you to invest a little bit of time in taking this assessment um, so that you can move past whatever level you're at today to achieve true uh, optimization. And you can take the assessment at www.jobvite.com forward slash try hyphen evolve. Thank you very much. Thank you.